Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're going to check out the Astro Zombie by Panda Surfboard. So the Astro Zombie I'll be riding is a stock 5.5, and it comes in at 5.5 by 20.5 by 2.5 and, and exactly 33.1 litres. So as you can see here, the Astro Zombie is a pretty classic little fish design by Panda Surfboards. Um, and if you flip it over, it's got a lovely set of fixed keel fins in the bottom. Um, so looking over the board, it's a pretty kind of classic fish design. It's kind of short, wide, holds a lot of volume. Um, it's got a pretty short, stubby nose. It also has a beak on the nose, which allows the kind of um, to hold a lot of volume um, up under the nose and under the chest. And it has that classic fish, that really deep swallow tail. Um, flipping over the board, um, it has what they describe as a rolled V through the front of the board and you can feel that V up there. Um, it comes as a single through the centre of the board and then it comes as a deep double that comes through the board and out the tail. Um, something else that's quite unique about the board you might see, it's got these little channels that sit out the side of the board. Um, the board's really, really fast and I think it could attribute to these channels on the side of the board, give it a little bit of extra pace. Uh, we just had summer in Australia, so what we get is pretty, some pretty average, really kind of weak waves in kind of the knee to kind of shoulder high range. And this thing's been absolutely epic. Um, the volume under the chest here just makes paddling into waves really like, easy and quite effortless. The board just paddles into everything, gets into waves kind of early and easily. Uh, it just means surfing those really average conditions where maybe you normally wouldn't get out in the water are uh, really, really fun. Actually, when I got the board, um, we kind of had a bit of a pumping like, day or two at our local break and it was about you know three to four foot, so kind of, kind of solid waves overhead. And it's not the board I normally would have ridden, but I was just frothing to get on it. So I took it out in some kind of punchy and bigger conditions. I was actually kind of shocked how well the board went. I hadn't normally taken or hadn't taken this kind of fish style surfboard into kind of you know larger and punchier kind of waves. And I wasn't sure what to expect, but it, being the frother that I am, I just wanted to get it out there and give it a go. And it went really well. Um, the twin fin holds much better, I think, in those solar conditions than what I thought it would. And also, like I said before, with the small conditions, and the same in those larger conditions, that extra volume and that volume under your chest, you just got into waves really early and you could just make the most of them. In stuck, suckier and steeper, steeper waves, um, the board was really good. It was able to stall and get into little barrels and make the most of kind of steep sections. Um, much better than I thought a twin fin kind of board of this style, um, which also has about almost four litres extra volume than what a performance shortboard that I'd ride has. Uh, how well it went in those conditions. Um, flipping over the board, normally kind of go through fins here, but as you can see, it has fixed keel fins and these came in the board. Um, when I grew up surfing, kind of um, you know, removable fin systems were quite new. Um, so, you know, fixed fins with a roving and that is what I kind of grew up with and I was used to. And it was really kind of cool to get back onto that. It actually is quite a unique feeling. Um, I guess people are so used to fin systems what now. It's a unique feeling. It was really nice to get onto this um, fin. It just feels really natural and it's, it's a real nice connection between the board and the water. And I really enjoyed surfing it because it's actually been quite a while since I've ridden a fixed fin in a board. The volume of the Astro Zombie I've got here is 33.1 litres. Um, so this sits at about three to four litres above what I normally ride in a performance shortboard. Um, and this felt perfect. It, it's a board that I just kind of want to cruise on. Um, I want to make the most of kind of summer waves. Um, maybe if I was to head up north and surf some of the point breaks, I want to be able to kind of battle those crowds and get into waves easy and early. Um, and this was perfect for it. You know, it could have dropped down a little bit more, but this was fine and, and it was absolutely perfect. It felt every bit of the 33 litres. Um, and I think it was exactly what this ball kind of called for. Overall, I think the Astro Zombie is for absolutely anyone. Uh, the board is so easy and so fun to surf that I think someone of a beginner um, could have a lot of the fun in the board. It has a lot of volume, it sits under the chest and is just distributed so well through the board that it makes paddling to waves, it's super stable and it just makes surfing really fun and really easy. Uh, if you're more of an intermediate to an advanced surfer, the board definitely has some performance characteristics. Um, it's able to get into waves early, you can turn on it, it pivots really well, you can, you can surf quite vertically. And as I said, I surfed it in some kind of larger um, and steeper like kind of quality waves and the thing still went really, really well. Look, I've had a lot of fun surfing the Astro Zombie by Panda. It's been an awesome board to check out and hope to get a chance to check one out too. Thanks so much for watching.